Welcome back, my name is Emil and you can kind of see all of me here, I'm trying to get the guitar playing and myself here, but you get the idea, welcome back. Um, today we're going to look at uh, a really cool program and a plugin, uh, it is called the Live Spice. I've had uh, a lot of requests and uh, comments and um, questions about um, what it is, because uh, some of you on my channel might have seen the um, the boost I'm using here, looks like this, and I also did a mega pack uh, a few days ago, uh, and in the last pack there, uh, the third one, I did some NAM captures on um, on a live spice simulated uh, circuit, so. I'm gonna explain and also show you what it can do uh, today. So let's jump straight in to the computer here. Um, I have Cubase loaded up and what you heard was a JCM 800 circuit that I've done um, and also the trusted, uh, trusted uh, Tube Screamer here and so uh, all of the schematics and presets for this are in the description in the video and uh, I'm going to show you how to uh, get this stuff first of all. So open up livespice.org, link in the description and you should really take your time and read this page. It's a lot of good information here. Um, I won't do that uh, right now because the video is going to be like two hours long. Try to aim for like 15 minutes on this one. So um, what you want to do is make sure... Uh, so let's run through the, the stuff you need here. So this is a Vin Windows application. Uh, you are going to need a sound card or a driver. I mean you could use this with, as it says here, with a... Um, like a ACO, uh, what is it called? The um, ACO for all, but I don't know about that one. Um, have a solid um, sound card and also drivers. Uh, this plugin, I mean this this whole uh, program and plugin is very very CPU heavy. I mean think about it, it is doing circuit simulation real time. That is like, what? Um, I mean, you have LT Spice that that you can uh, send through a WAV file and it takes like maybe an hour, <laughs> depending how long it is, uh, to like process it and then spit it out on the other side. Uh, this is real time. So, I mean, you're going to have a, you need a serious computer. Uh, mine is maybe somewhere in the middle, but it, it kind of works, the simpler circuits. Uh, I am going to um, put in some of my, my heavier circuits and um, please write in the, in the comments if you can run them. Uh, if you have a really super computer, super awesome uh, top spec computer, um, can you run them without hiccups and, and glitches? Um, please let me know because uh, then it might be worth upgrading for me. So um, you want to make sure you have a Windows computer, a decent sound card and also the net framework stuff. Um, and then what you want to do is... No, oh, not that one. Alright, let's go back. Uh, get to the GitHub releases page. Um, and D Charlotte is the one that has posted this. Uh, I know the VST plugin is contributed by uh, this guy here, Mike Oliphant. All right, so these two guys are um, to thank for this. And um, if you guys are watching this, um, please let me know uh, who you are. I've been trying to like uh, figure out um, what kind of geniuses is about uh, are behind this, and I haven't really come up with something. So. Um, 
if you are watching this, let me know how I can help you and to uh, get your awesome project product out there. Um, all right, so and then you want to install the latest uh, the latest installer here. You can see these files here. So you just download and run. Um, like I said, you want to um, install the program. Looks like this. Um, kind of LT Spice, but it's simpler. It, it's to to me, it is more natural to to work with. Uh, the LT Spice is still not my best friend, but this is uh, is really really cool. And of course, uh, install the the plugin, the bridge, the Live Spice VST bridge, so you can run them real time. Uh, you could simulate it in uh, in this program here, but I don't really see, I don't know. I think it's cooler to, to run a VST bridge so you can uh, open it up in your DAW. All right, so let me show you uh, the sound here. What we're going to do today, if this is not too long, I am going to take this JCM 800, sounds like this without a boost. <laughs> Super cool. Um, and turn it into this. I've already sheeted, you know. Uh, so turn it into this. Uh, let's see, this is a bright one and it needs bass, it needs some mids, some gain, and the bright cap. <laughs> And you can hear there's a massive difference here in, in gain. Um, so um, what this is, is like taking the JCM800 circuit and squeezing the most amount of gain. Uh, I'm calling this the Jake Lee preamp uh, because it is, but it has many names. I mean, the, um, the Jose mod in the, the 80s there kind of did the same thing and you have a lot of modern recreations that are based on this this schematic um, so let's then do this so um, let's jump into the live spice program here uh, I have here the JCM 800 um, what we want to do first here is um, just to run through the the signal chain, and um, so we're, we're this is your your input. This is where the guitar inputs. Uh, if you download these presets, you don't have to mess with like inputs and outputs because all is uh, it's already already done. You can just try and mess around with the, the values and the and um, the circuit. So first of all, you have your uh, one meg to ground. You don't have to mess with that. 68k. You could try. Um, 33k. Uh, I know the 68k is from when uh, Fender and Marshall used uh, the the four inputs. Uh, it was actually meant to be 33. Uh, a lot of errors, you know, uh, that are copied <laughs> um, actually were not meant to be. But then uh, amp makers started to to copy the errors. Uh, I think that's quite funny. Uh, shouldn't make a, a really difference in sound though. Uh, you can see the first gain stage here. Uh, the cathode resistor is 2.7k and uh, 680 nanofarad. Um, 100k here. Uh, you have a 22 nanofarad decoupling capacitor. Um, uh, 470k and 470 picofarad here uh, running into the volume first gain pot which is one meg, uh, the bright cap, I have a switch for that. Uh, on the JCM800, it is one nanofarad. Um, second gain stage here, you have the cold clipper, the JCM uh, cold clipper at 10K. Uh, Soldana uses a 39 cold, uh, 39K cold clipper, just for your information there. Um, 100k plate resistor and also another 22 nanofarad um, decoupling capacitor. Capacitor. Um, then you have your um, 
this was um, this, so you're bleeding some of the signal uh, down to ground here. Uh, you could experiment this. This is sort of a voltage divider, uh, so you don't overload this stage right here, um, which has uh, in stock form the 820 ohm cathode resistor. And um, your cathode follower here has uh, 100k uh, resistor to ground, and then your normal tone stack right there, and your output. Uh, the speaker here uh, shows uh, your, your output. So this is what you just heard. Um, so let's start with um, the first thing here. Um, let's... Um, so the first stage is, uh, is good, we're not gonna, gonna leave that. Uh, however, this uh, decoupling capacitor here is going to be a 2.2 nanofarad, all right? Um, this is all cool. I, however, this is my interpretation of this, so I can do whatever I want, I feel. Um, I wanna put in 500, Picofarad here. I think that's a cooler value. Um, the one nano is a bit ice picky for for my my taste. Uh, second stage here, uh, we're not going to use the 10k the code clipper at all. So we're just going to copy over the same same values as the first first stage, um, 2.7k and 680 nanofarad. Um, let me see here, what else, what else? Okay, let's move along. We're gonna keep the 22 nano here. Um, I am probably missing something. Yes, okay. Um, right here, uh, 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 right here, we're going to insert a 220K uh, to ground to um, bleed some of the signal. Uh, to ground. So let's do that. Pull out a resistor. Let's put it, put it there. Um, grab some wire like that. We don't need that. Oh, okay. Let's do, redo that. And then we want to copy another ground and wire it in and has to be 220 K. Okay, good. Um, right, so move along here and uh, this stays. Uh, however, we do want to add a capacitor here, a 22 microfarad capacitor. So let's bring that out. Wired in like so, and twenty two microfarad. It's kind of hard to see, but you can see the value right there. Um, okay, cool. And we also want to put in a capacitor on the uh, cathode follower. That one is uh, it's basically, uh, I think it's, it's reducing um, some high ends because this is a super bright preamp. Uh, it is only going to be um, 470 picofarad. So like taking the edge of the, the ice pick here. 70 picof no, okay. Like that. Alright, cool. And so that's actually that for the, the, the schematic. Um, we want to save this as something cool. Um, let's do hot rodded. Hot rodded Marshall. All right, cool. Um, and now you're done with this side of the, uh, this side of the, what do you call it, the schematic part. Uh, you then want to go into your DAW and load up an instance of um, the Live Spice bridge. Okay. Um, 
let's see here. And then we want to find our hot rodded Marshow. Okay, so I <laughs> kind of messed up on that one. Um, um, load that up, and you can see you have all your controls here. Uh, let's see how it sounds, uh, just like this. Okay, so of course it's bypassed. So of course um, all the controls are straight, but you can straight away hear a huge difference from the, the stock JCM 800. Going back, you can hear it's so much brighter and has more gain. So let's uh, mess with the controls here. I think this has a lot of treble, so I'm going to put that down. Um, this is just a preamp, so remember that uh, you're not getting the power amp. We can't do that with Live Spice yet, um, because the, the actual circuit um, should have a depth uh, mod, so should have more like low end stuff. So I'm going to uh, raise the bass just a little bit, boost it. Uh, need some mids and also. For these kind of pre uh, type circuit, I do love um, the volume at like six. And of course, the 500 picofarad bright cap, and it sounds like this. Yeah, and we're home. Uh, of course, boost it with um, the tube screamer. Um, this is included in the pack I'm, um, I'm sharing in the description here, so be sure to look that out. I think it's a great, this is the one I use when I play all my NAM and some of the uh, commercial plugins that needs a boost. This is the only boost, I think this is the only boost you need, uh, in my opinion. <laughs> Alright, super cool. Okay, before the video gets too long, uh, I'm gonna end it here. So you need to install your program, Live Spice program, and your um, VST bridge. Then load up a schematic and have fun with it. Play around, uh, search for schematics online. Uh, I am including an SLO preamp and an Ubershall experiment I did. Uh, and some high gain other preamps, but I think the money is here, the JCM 800 and the Hot Rod and Marshall, uh, the Jake Lee preamp, uh, that is just phenomenal. And if you have a supercomputer, please let me know if you can play the Soldano one uh, or the Ubershall, because I can't. Uh, I just want to know if it's possible at all. Maybe the the bridge has some limitations and the program. So anyway, uh, I hope you thought that was a cool uh, demonstration. I surely did. Uh, this is awesome that you can do this. And uh, please subscribe to the channel for more uh, of these kind of crazy stuff. And um, like the video, share it, share the word. And uh, if you made this plugin, please let me know so I can help you uh, reach more people. All right, uh, this is it for this video. All right, see you in the next one. Bye.